So for the last couple of years, I have missed the drop on the mystery bags from Wazoo Survival. This year, not so much. I got it. I got four bags, in fact. They're packed into two. And we're going to unbox them and see what we get. So before we get started, let me get this out of the way. Wazoo Survival is a company I absolutely adore. There is no objectivity here. I love this company. And they have products that I wear absolutely every day. In fact, these never change, pretty much. We wear, I always wear a Wazoo cap. Now, I've done videos on it. I've shown what I keep inside with all of these pockets. There's one, two, three, four pockets, along with some slots on the side. I won't be doing that in this video, but just know these are amazing products. So let me put that back on. And then I also have been wearing the Viking Whetstone combined with the Spark. Now I have redone it on another lanyard and I put the uh, ceramic on top, which I like a little bit better personally. And it also has a ferrocerium rod that you can use with this. You just simply turn it like that and I'll actually show you guys. Check this out. Yeah, and it's it's very, very effective. And un unlike a lot of times when you do a ferrous seam rod where you don't, kind of don't have a lot of space to work with, this actually goes right into where you want it, which is really, really nice. So it's got all those survival-esque features, and it's just something really comfortable that you can wear around the neck and just forget about it. And that's kind of what I do. Tuck that in. Now let's get to the good part. The first grab bag. So I'm just excited. I'm just going to unbox all this and start taking stuff out. Hats, can't go wrong, what does it say? It says missing thread, the missing second thread. I don't know, I'm sure it works great. Now, is this a new one? It is a new one, sweet. I didn't have a new one that uh, that had a Velcro panel, so that's cool. And I like, I'm always good for black. So I'll leave this like it is. Huh, what about this one? Oh, probably this thing right here. Just that little bit. I mean, I do more damage to my hats than that. That's the thing, though. That's why I wanted to get in on this. These bags are $50 a piece. And from what I've seen, when people unbox them, it's like... I mean, first of all, that's that's basically $70. Okay? The, I think each of these hats are about $35 a piece. So we got some, some lanyard stuff. Okay, so these bags are really cool. They work in part of their kits. I don't see anything particularly wrong with them. Maybe just the way they were crimped. There's no holes. Anyway, these are high temps. So you can actually put these over a fire and actually boil water in them. So really, really cool water um, watertight bags that are high heat resistant. So that's a really cool thing. You can buy these separately, but they come in their kits. So I guess they got crimped or something like that. We'll have to take a look at that. Interesting. Tracking bandana stuff. Got a couple of little bags that I guess aren't quite working. Maybe they don't they don't work great. I don't know. <laughs> oh, hello. It's like a whole bag of stuff here. So these Viking whetstones, they're like 45 a piece. So what happened here? Oh, check this out. This is why they just this is why they're not including it because that one little chip. I mean, come on. Basically, it's still perfect. It works great. Maybe I'll put this on a necklace and give it away, guys. These are awesome and they look amazing after a little bit of time with your natural oils. They just they're just awesome. We have let's see. Bunch of oh, scratched. Oh no. A whistle that's scratched. Titanium whistle, I'm pretty sure. These are either titanium or aluminum. They are stupidly loud. I've tested them. They're ridiculous. There's a couple of those, both scratched. Or maybe they scratched them to mark them as being being uh, not sellable. I'm curious why. We'll have to test them, I guess. And then we also have another necklace. Another, I'm sorry, another um, whistle. Ah, what did I expect to happen there exactly? Anyway, uh, for some reason I thought it would be broken. Okay, that's why. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Ferroserum rod. I don't see literally anything wrong with that. It does look like the hole is a little small though. 
the heck is this? I'm pretty sure this is a magnesium dowel. But I'm going to test that. We'll scrape some off and, and see it at a later time. But it must be just a component, like part of something that they were making in a kit. Obviously, this one has been tested a couple of times. But still has plenty of strikes left. And this is the old style striker. So I showed you the new one. I, ha I am hit or miss with these. Uh, the new style is obscenely good. Super strong and just phenomenal. And it has that wider hole so you can use it you know, in combination with the Viking whetstone. The, this one is just great because it fits almost anywhere. So still useful, still gonna strike really well. Let me see, let me put this bag down here. Show you what I mean. Let me see, that's the thing. Some of the edges aren't as sharp. Oh, maybe that's why it's defective. There we go. There you go. There we go. So it is possible. I don't find this nearly as nice as using the one that I'm wearing right now. So I love the upgrade. I'm a huge fan of the upgrade. We have some nice little stickers here. This is only the first bag. This is going to be a while. Is that a Wazoo cup? It says Distillery Coffee House. This is cool. Okay, you know what? Start putting stuff in there things getting out of control this is cool now I didn't have one of these and now I do so that's great I guess they only give those out to people who get the bag of crap oh neat so I already have one of these and like pull everything else out everything out of there I think that's it I think that's it so we got some of these just some informational stuff and then what is this is this just a Oh, I don't know why. Oh, this is unique. I've never seen this striker from them. I don't. I don't know. I have to test that. That and look at the size of the hole. That's gonna offer some interesting attachment points. Very cool. I'll definitely keep that. We'll have to test that. Okay, so this thing. Let's see what is wrong with it? Can I even tell? Usually I can't. I don't see any issues. There hole in the netting. No. Okay, so this is a foraging bandana, which they have. It's amazing. It's got tons of information on the outside. I love this. I love the stuff that they do. And it tells you where on the plant to get the different types of things. You know, there's all of this stuff written on here. Very, very useful. But what I what it's really great for, there's a couple of ways to use it. But you can use it as a bag to carry your foraging. So if you're going and you're grabbing different kinds of things for tea or food or whatever, it'll keep it from getting too um, wet. Like in a plastic bag, all that condensation will cause issues. But this doesn't. And I've also seen it used, which is really cool. You can wear it over top of your head with your hat. And it works kind of like a mosquito net. So if you don't have bug spray and you wanted something as a backup, it works in that regard too. So really, really cool design on this. I, I don't remember when they came out with it. I think they, they somebody suggested it to them and then they're like, that's a great idea. We should try that. Oh, I found out where it is. It's just the stitching. Literally, that's it. Come on. Come on. I didn't want to calculate just how much this is probably equal to. Maybe if I can, I will put it posted here. But the, each of those bags was 50. And we're going to just do a grand total because I think they just combined all four bags into two. And uh, see where we're at. So that's the first bag. And it was the smaller of the two. Let me go get the other one here. So this bag weighs a lot more. I don't know what's going on. Um, wait a second. That's one, two three wait a second so that was one bag that was one bag here's one two and three holy moly okay all right this is gonna take a while guys um i thought that was two bags and i was pretty happy if that's one oh i'm never missing one of these again so of course we got more of these interesting i don't know what that's all about i'll read that later another sticker which i'm awesome that's awesome paracord 
So the one thing I like about Wazoo, they try not to waste. So if they have leftover materials, they figure if people are inventive, they'll use use it for different things. And this is another example. I love this. This is great. Another one of these. As long as it's honestly, as long as the, the netting isn't ripped and its stitching is attached nicely. Yeah, I mean, this looks great. I, just, I don't see, I don't even know what the problem is. Okay, a little bit of fraying. That can't be the only thing, right? It can't be. I, I have to really inspect it. It doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it, though. This is one of these. These are not cheap either, by the way. All made right here. I'm pretty sure it. Okay, so we have another Viking whetstone in this bag. So I probably, maybe I'll just try to keep it separate. I, I don't think it's going to work out, but. You know, you know, I'm not. It's too much. It's too much trying to figure out which one's in what bag. I'm just going to have to kind of go for it. Holy moly things. All right, cool. So, this is this is actually something I was hoping I would get in at least one bag. What does it say? Double stitch. So, I have to compare it to mine. These are the wazoo belt now i didn't take off my belt but i actually wear this on regular i just don't fill it completely i keep only one or two things in it and a bunch of stuff also under the buckle so there's these elastic bands so i can keep a bunch of different things that i need under the buckle so i didn't know they made a matte black but that's awesome i actually kind of needed a new one the belt that i have i had since the kickstarter and it's looking a little loved so actually, this is great. And if I remember correctly, they will repair them too. I might might well just send mine back. But yeah, this is great. And another item for sure that will be awesome. So another Viking whetstone. Anything wrong with this one? No, I don't really. I love the pattern though. Yeah, another chip right here. I guess that's what they're calling but like the actual functionality of it works great let's take a look in here more whistles holy moly all right so a bunch of the viking whetstone bags a couple pieces of leather Another one of these, I'm wondering what the deal is. I wonder if this is like a new prototype or what, or maybe it was an interim design, but that's another striker. We have another whetstone, completely different pattern on this one. Chipped right, oh no, uh, I guess that's not, is that chipped? Little bit right there. I don't see much else. I mean, it's still gonna, it's still got a flat surface for sharpening. It's still got the curved edges, the, the thin and the wide for different serration sizes. It's got the groove for sharpening um, fishing hooks. It's got pretty much everything. So it still functions great. Some information. A bunch of buckles. That's helpful. Those are good. I dig that. This is a ceramic folding knife. What's wrong with it? Okay, so there's that. I'll have to figure out what the deal is. We've got another little um, fire ferrocium rod. More whistles. we got whistles coming out the wazoo. Ha! Give him another fire steel. You know, I had to make that joke at least once. And that's it. But that's, once again, like, the belts are like 40... They're, they're expensive. They're expensive. Um, I haven't just needed to get another one because the other one still works great. But, I mean, we're way above the $50 that comes with it. I think the, the each of those Viking whetstones, when it's in complete thing, is probably, um, I think it was like 40 at least. So, I mean, this is the way to go. I can see why they sell out every single time, for sure. So, if next time this happens, I'm probably not buying it, because I'm going to have plenty of stuff to replace. But I will let everyone know. When I when I hear that thing that they're making more bags of crap, you better believe I will be telling people. So more of that. Another belt. Oh, I dig it. Just 
just a reminder, these belts are made right here in the USA. Is there anything wrong with this one? So it's a belt. It does not have a buckle, but that's okay. I have extra. So this will be good as a replacement belt, which is really the only thing that's wearing on my um, current one. What is this? It's just some material I can use for scissor testing. So that'll work out. Another hat. Or another one. This is my favorite. The, uh, the one I'm wearing right now. Missing stitch. Where? Where's the stitch? Where's the... Huh? Oh, oh, right there. Interesting. Okay, that's not even a big deal. That's not a big deal. So that's another hat. There's still another bag, guys. They're aluminum foil, and the aluminum foil that comes with this is a much thicker variety. They wrap it all up with the, uh, the bat, the, um, what do you call it? the heat resistant bags and then you get it in like a nice little pill form really really cool and those actually fit inside the belts and they're designed to also go in the hat but i think they're a little too big for that so we have a buckle to go with that belt so that's cool whoops sorry Open that in a minute more paracord i'm just gonna get the paracord out of the way we're gonna need some space i have a feeling Oh, we got a we got one of the new sparks. What's the problem with it? What is I mean, the only thing I really care about is this right here. This thing, these things are super amazing. Like this 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 is the best striker. Let me, let me show you the difference. Let me grab one of these. I do it on this bag. I'm going to burn a hole in it. Watch this. Yeah, I'm not kidding. These these, are, these strikers are nuts. And you don't need a long... The thing of it is, is, if you use a knife, it almost seems like you need a longer and faster strike. But with these ceramic pieces, you really, really don't need that. So, yeah. Having another one of those, excellent. I'm happy with... I'm really happy to have another one of those. And we'll drag the rest out here. Whoa. Just a little bit of paracord in there. Okay, so what do we got? Little Fresnel lens. Cool. I'm probably not saying that right. I just realized. Sticker number three. Another Viking Whetstone. Like, none of these bags come in even remotely close to $50. I'm pretty sure we are already at well over $140, $150 in this one bag alone. And every one of these was $50. So, this is the way, man. Getting, getting all this... I'm gonna have so much fun assembling some things, and if I have the ability to to make some, I'll put them in future giveaways. And there's gonna be a lot of future giveaways starting towards the end of June. I have a whole bunch planned, maybe even two a month. So we'll we'll be doing a lot. We'll be doing a lot. So I'll be reassembling these, and it'll be a lot of fun. And let's see what else. So that's that's it for that bag. So that's that's pretty much the whole of three bags. And we're still into another one. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay, I'm going to feel, I feel a hat. Let's start with a hat. So another black with uh, Bill something. I can't read that. And there's a little stitching issue. Okay, another hat. Another hat. I feel another hat in here. Oh, this is one of those same khaki ones, but it's got... I don't know what they're saying. Okay, more of those bags that are heat resistant, so that's cool. Cleanup is going to be a pain, but worth it. Then we have paracord. You know, watching this must look like real chaos. <laughs> it's because it is. Okay, get everything out of here. What the heck is that? All right. Okay, so 
These buckles are really, really cool. They have like a bunch of things combined into one. So what you have is you can unclip this. There's a ferrocerium rod right here in the middle, and that actually can be strike struck with this this ceramic striker. And the ceramic striker also has a small sharp edge you can use and as something that you can cut things or prep um, tinder. And of course, you have a whistle here as well. I guess we should try that. Ow. Yeah. Okay, that works. So bracelets. But you know what I've used these for that's actually pretty awesome? I made key uh, danglers, like the ones that you can attach to your belt loop, and then you can then unclip it. So it's like a different use for it. You don't have to have it be a bracelet. There's many ways you can use these. Now what the heck is this? I'm really curious what this is. I'm actually have no idea. It does feel, is this even wood? It, it does feel like wood, but it's awfully hard for wood. Is it petrified wood? That would make more sense. Either way, very, very cool. Little piece there. One of the things I like about these guys, they don't want to throw anything out. They really want to find a way to utilize everything they have. And this is such a cool way to do it, in my opinion. So more little bags. Those will be helpful. Another Viking whetstone. I like the pattern on this one. I don't see... Where's the issues here? I mean, there's some scratching up top. But that's all going to be under the leather anyway. I don't see anything else that's wrong with that. It's amazing. So after we're done here, I'm going to, if you want to cut to it even, uh, but I'm going to lay everything out in some kind of order <laughs> and then uh, we'll, we'll go from there. But yeah, this was, this is really fun. Um, more stuff than I could ever need, but thankfully if there's a plan for all of it, anything that I don't personally plan on using is going to end up being distributed in future giveaways. So let's go ahead and put everything together, see what we have, and uh, conclude this thing. Okay, now this is a lot of crap that isn't crap. In fact, after doing an inspection of basically everything, they're all usable with the exception of a single item, this ceramic blade, which is broken from, from this. This is the only thing that I would consider either unsafe or unusable. Everything else here for all purposes that I can tell are usable tools. And it even includes some strikers that I've never seen before. So for my future self, who's going to edit this and try to calculate just an approximation of how much all this is, we're just going to, we're going to cover some things. So first of all, we have 10 of the high heat bags. We have six, 11 whistles, a cup that doesn't, I don't think they sell that. There are five buckles, about 10 of these little wazoo carabiners. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight strikers with a couple extra ferrocerium rods on top of it. We also have five Viking whetstones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 11 more uh, ferrocerium rods and what appears to be a couple of magnesium dowels. We'll have to play with that. I'm pretty sure that's what those are. They might be aluminum though, which would change things. There are two uh, foraging bandanas, two cash belts, which I need to do another video on. Five, I think it's five. One, two, three, four, five. Five wazoo caps, white and tan. And I think that's it. And that's not including like the things like all of these little nice sealed bags that are all made of cotton and can be reused. So there's a lot in here and way above the $50 that I would have paid in any of the cases. Like I would have gotten more than my money back very, very quickly. 
and is the best way I can think of to support this company. Even though I don't really need half of this stuff, I'm pretty stacked. Actually, I did need more belts, to be fair. Um, the one I had was kind of wearing out on me. But what's cool is being that I can distribute these again, it was really fun to unbox them. So I really appreciate that. And I don't know if I will be doing it next year, but you better believe I will let you know when it goes live. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this was just something we can enjoy together. And uh, yeah, tell me, what item here are you most interested in? And should I do a video on anything you see? Let me know. Talk to you later.